Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be hauling, well I'm going to be doing a book haul of all the books that I've bought since I've moved house because I unhauled a bunch and there's a couple that I got in book boxes but yeah there's a lot so ignore this, this is boxes of books that need to be put into onto a bookshelf. I have put some on here, this shelf is mine so there's that, and I am sitting on the floor because this is going to be ten times easier. But, let's get started! I'm going to start with Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. I have heard of this before by multiple people and it sounded really fun. I know nothing about it, but this cover is really, really pretty. And these are silver sprayed edges, they're very shiny. I don't think it's going to pick up super well, but yeah, it's also signed and stuff. and. This cover is incredible. So, uh, and this one I think was from Waterstones. The next is *The Wizard of Oz* by L. Frank Baum. Baum, Baum. I don't know how to pronounce this author's name, but this is the Penguin Cloth Bound Classics version. Wow, can't speak. But I've wanted to reread this book for a long time, as this was the book that I learned how to read with. But this is. I thought, you know, Danny's got a bunch of the beautiful cloth bound classics here here and I bought her a cloth bound classic uh, a thousand leagues under the sea so I thought I'd add to the collection with the Wizard of Oz so I can reread this and I'm going to be rereading this sometime this summer as I'm part of a book club that my wonderful friend Celine has created called the Book Wanderers and it's a summer long readathon which includes a prompt of a comfort read and I thought perfect time to reread this because I haven't read it since I was a child. Next is, a lot of people are very excited that I've now finally got my hands on this. This is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss and it's the deluxe illustrated edition. It's really really pretty. It's green on the naked hardback. I know nothing about this apart from it's like adult wizard school. <laughs> well it's not at for, well it's an adult fantasy but it's about wizard school. I think I could be completely incorrect, but I know Autumn, Celine, you guys will probably correct me in the comments. Next up, I have Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. This, I bought this off of Waypoint Books. I've got quite a few of these from Waypoint Books, and I'll link that down below because Hannah, the bookseller, is amazing and she's pulled. A lot of these books for me which is really cool of her but this is playing bad heroines and I know nothing about this whatsoever other than the fact I believe it is going to be a, a like a dark academia next up a book I've actually just finished reading and that is the girl and the goddess by Nikita Gill and this is a novel in verse about a girl learning about herself she's uh, Indian from Kashmir and this touches on, doesn't touch on it. it, it's got a lot of the repercussions of partition and it's fantastic, fabulous. There were moments in here which made me laugh, bits in here that made me tear up. It didn't make me cry, I thought it might, but I've also tabbed all my favourite bits. Next up is another book that I got from Waypoint Books and this one, Hannah, I was on Zoom with Hannah and she showed myself and Danny this book and we both thought wow so I bought it and it's a middle grade and it's called the hat makers yeah the hat makers and this cover is so cute it's really I have no idea what this is about but this isn't the best part of this book the best part of this book is this naked hardback yeah <laughs> yeah and the spine is also incredible. Next up is a book that I purely got because it's set in Cornwall. That isn't the reason I got it, it's because of the cover and the sprayed edges and that is The Lamplighters by Emma Stonex and yeah, yep, yep, a hundred percent, yeah. Next up, again I think Celine is going to be happy about this one. I got To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Poloni. I know that this is a sci-fi I don't know much about other than that. Next up is 
Santa Claus Guide to Everything and this was actually supposed to be a gift to Danny. Unbeknownst to me, she already had this, so now it's mine. Next up, I've already spoken about this one before, Blankets by Craig Thompson, it's a graphic novel. Next up is... So this book was kindly gifted by Hannah from Waypoint Books and it was Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Next up is Brandis Anderson's Star Sight, which is the sequel, couldn't find the word there, sequel to Skyward and I have Skyward in this edition. I saw this in Blackwells and I picked it up. Why wouldn't I? And again, I love these covers. I think they're so pretty. I was so happy when Waterstones came out with Skyward. Like, I don't know what I would have done if Skyward hadn't been reprinted in this edition because, yeah, love them so much together. Next one is one that's kind of like a shared book between Danny and myself. Again, when we were in Blackwells, we saw this and it's yeah it's gothic fantasy and it's called murder mayhem and it's all short stories so and it's like all by different authors but this cover is amazing it's by the publishers flame tree so i've never heard of them before but again we literally got this off the shelf and we were like what like look how shiny it is so that's fun next up is another shared one danny and i did a Thing where we bought each other a book that we thought each other would like and I originally <laughs> picked this one up and then I realised I was being super selfish because it's also a book I want to read and that is You'll Get Through This Night by Daniel Howell who is a YouTuber, used to be called Dinosaur on Fire but this is like a practical mental health guide I've read a little bit of it on Instagram that he posted and I've re I really enjoyed it so I can't wait to actually read this one then Danny bought me The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that name but this is about a book about books and it's set in Edinburgh and that's probably all I can tell you. Next are oh, a couple of paperbacks. I got this one because I saw it and it sounds super cool and that is The Price of the Occult. Oh, a Price Guide to the Occult, get it right, by Leslie Walton and this screams gothic horror-esque to me. So this is definitely going to be one that I read in October. Next up is two paperbacks. I bought one when I first moved and I bought another last week. And that is Ink and, ooh, Ink and Scar. And these covers are so amazing. But yeah, Ink and Scar by Alice Broadway. Next I bought Skullduggery Pleasant, ooh, wow, by Derek Landy and I bought this because of, again, letter M, Hannah. She does the dead famous readathon. I am very far behind. But this is a middle grade and it seemed like I would really like it. Next up, I got, this is a book box. So I've never read this before, never really heard of it before. This is The Dreamers by Karen Thompson Walker. And I got this from Chocolate and Book, which is a subscription box that I get which includes chocolate and some hot chocolate and some biscuits and a book and a bookmark. This one came this month. Next is one that I bought quite a while ago but it's the first time you'll have seen this on my channel but if you haven't seen this yet you must have been living under a rock because it's been all over TikTok, all over booktube because it's beautiful and that's the octonomy. Octonomy I call it. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I call it the Octonomy. It comes with like a whole thing. It's very, very pretty. Unboxing it was incredible and this, yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next up is, now, uh, this is my favourite author of all time. So I've basically bought most of her backlist and her newer book. This one is The Ghost Tree by Christina Henry. Then I read, then I bought the Alice duology. So Alice in Red Queen, because I would like to reread these after reading Looking Glass recently. Then I also got The Lost Boy, which is a Peter Pan dark retelling. Super excited about that. Big Peter Pan fan, so exciting. And I also got the Mermaid retelling, which is the little which is a little mermaid retelling, essentially. Again, another dark fantasy retelling. And then her latest book, Near the Bone, 
I know absolutely nothing about this but I saw this edition in Waterstones and I could not resist black sprayed edges beautiful beautiful end pages and an amazing naked hardback so we're on to the last stretch now won't be long so the next couple of books I got were again from Waypoint Books and actually this next book is a book by Hannah herself and that's Fat Lip by Hannah O'Donnell and I'm super intrigued by this. I knew she had an anthology of short stories out. They weren't something I was originally kind of, they're not my genre, but after seeing her latest video where she announces her new book, The Bridesmaid's Survival Guide, and she had loads of inserted loads of clips of people talking about this, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this and also I'd love to support an indie author. Next up, again from Waypoint Books, is Mina and the Undead by Amy McCarr. I've seen this kind of making the rounds recently and I kind of love how this isn't sprayed edges but it kind of looks grimy and dirty because of the uh, kind of like smoky effect that is on the pages. And all I know about this, you know what it gives me? It gives me Mona the Vampire vibes. It's probably nothing like that but that cover, this cover the text, I'm like, oh my god, does anyone remember Murder the Vampire, by the way? It's a really obscure British cartoon that was on CBBC, like, in early 2000s, I guess? <laughs> the camera cut off. Trying again. The main character lands a part-time job at a horror movie, movie mansion and meets Jared, Libby's gorgeous housemate and fellow horror enthusiast. So I'm assuming it's a story about haunted houses and falling in love and stuff in the early 90s, which is really, really fun. But this is also a book club pick for the Hullabaloo book club that so I got this because I thought I really wanted to read this so I will be reading it. Next up is Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi and <laughs> again I know absolutely nothing about this book but my both my friends Katara and Valentina read this recently. Again another one I've seen people read on booktube and my friend Valentina got really emotional so I'm super excited to see how I feel about it but I love this aesthetic. Yellow and black books are really pulling it through. Next is another stunning copy. I can't remember where I saw this. I think I saw this on somewhere on booktube. It might have been Books Nest again. Could have been someone else. I can't remember. <coughs> can't remember. But I could not resist it when I saw it and also these editions they do a whole bunch of them, so you'll probably see me buying a few more in the near future. But this is Women's Classics. Classic works from women writers. Sorry, excuse me. And they are gold sprayed edges, which are honestly stunning. And this image on the front of this gothic woman uh, with the back is stunning, which tells you all the authors that are in here, and also the spine spine is incredible and it's the Canterbury classics. The last book now finally we got there is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I loved The Martian so much. Probably one of my favourite reads from last year? Yeah last year I read it. So I'm very excited to read another Andy Weir novel. My friend Autumn recently read this and loved it and she said if you like The Martian you'll like this. And so I am <laughs> very, very excited to read this. It seems like another sci-fi. I'm getting a lot of sci-fis, I've realised. I don't really read sci-fi, but I want to read sci-fi. So, yeah. <laughs> so that was all of the books I have read. No, I haven't read all of them. I'm talking shit. Those are all the books I have bought recently. Some weren't that recent, but... I thought I'd add them into this haul anyway. But yes, that's 31 books because I unhauled a bunch. I know it didn't seem like it, but I did. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you in my next video where I'm not sure what we'll, what you'll see in what order, but we'll see. I hope you have a really nice day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world and thank you everybody so much for watching. Bye guys.